Hello everyone and welcome to another challenge on my Zuma channel with Cass. And today I have this special guest. So hello Refoniak. Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, and she is here because uh, as you know a few weeks ago we just published this video where she fixed some of the flaws of my old design for the chicken <laughs> farm and those balls are pretty ugly, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> and Nonsense. we started to think, why don't we get it done right? So that's why we decided to have the community to find the solutions for our problems and make the most awesome chicken farm ever done before. So mm -hmm. maybe Graf, you can explain what we expect from these guys. Sure thing. Okay guys, so basically what we're looking at is the first way to improve is to take all the parameters we're going to list here in just a minute and try to fit it in as compact a space as possible. So Cass and I have talked about it and that's going to be really very hard once you hear all the things that you need to do, but we're thinking roughly 12 by 12 by 12. So um, this little diagram here is something to go by. Uh, it, it can probably be done, but to be honest, uh, it's it's going to be shocking if you guys actually succeed in that area. So it's, it's so it's actually not a hard and fast rule so much as a let's see how small you can get this thing. Okay, so the that covers this first parameter here is max volume of 12 by 12 by 12. But like I said, it's kind of more of a loose parameter. Let's just see how small you can get it. Um, this one here. Obviously, this is an auto farm, and uh, ideally, auto farms will collect all of the drops. And we're looking at quite a few with this one eggs, feathers, raw chicken, and cooked chicken. And the raw chicken is necessary because, well, um, I'm, I'm a trader, <laughs> and I need the raw chicken for trades because the villagers won't accept cooked chicken. So um, we need to be able to switch between the two easily and collect all the things. So once you collect all the things, obviously the next step is going to be automatic sorting and disposal. When you're building a machine like this, um, there's going to be quite a lot of extra drops. There are going to be a lot of extra feathers, for example. And um, we need to be able to sort out the raw chicken from the cooked chicken from the feathers and be able to dispose the extras so that we don't break the system. So the next one is is kind of a bonus for me because I am a huge fan of light and sound indicators so that I know whether my machines are working as they should um, so that I know whether uh, chests are full or things are you know basically I, I like indicators so if you can throw in a couple for me that would be great um, this is a pretty big deal here this chicken farm can get very messy, especially if you use glass at all in the build. We don't really want raw chicken and eggs and feathers floating everywhere. So uh, do what you can to keep the entities clean. We don't, you know, we don't want to make too big of a mess on our servers with this thing. So um, speaking of servers, we we want to be able to build this chicken farm of all chicken farms in a spawn chunk so that it's running all the time without too much fear of breaking the map. <laughs> because if something breaks on this machine, uh, you could end up with thousands and thousands of chickens in your chicken farm and end up killing your server. So do what you can to build in some fail safes. Make sure that uh, even if it does break, you're not going to end up with a thousand chickens in one spot. Um, Ideally, we'd like this to use as simple redstone as possible, uh, you know, easy on the resources, but that's going to kind of come with keeping it in a small, compact space. So, um, you know, we want it to be pretty easy to build so that someone who isn't uh, a big redstone genius can look at this, follow a tutorial, and build it themselves, and be able to use it without following another tutorial to find <laughs> out how. <laughs> so... Uh, there's that, and as a final note, you know, Graf added, uh, Cass added this just for Graf. Let's let's make the mm. machine pretty. Uh, we, 
I like the industrial look, but uh, we're gonna be a lot of us are gonna be putting this on our servers and showing it off to YouTube. So um, take those extra few steps and make everything nice and tidy. So um, we should. Uh, what do you, What do you say? About a week, we'll have the results out in in a week next weekend, maybe. Yeah, that sounds like fine. Okay. And um, other than that, I, th I think that pretty much covers it. Make sure that you send the entries to Casildas here. Uh, he's going to be the one gathering everything up. Don't send anything to me. Um, let's, let's keep it all to one person so we don't lose anything. But other than that, I think that covers it. What do you think? Yeah, that pretty much covers everything. We know, guys, that's a lot to ask from you. But <laughs> <laughs> it's insane to ask of you. But yeah. the Redstone community has so far impressed me, and I think this is a really, really clear challenge uh, that I, I, I think they're up for it, Cass. I think they can do this. Yes, the final result is going to be very useful, and I think that you guys are going to have a lot of fun trying to design it. So... Please guys, just uh, don't forget to open the video description and check out all the information that's necessary for you to take part on this. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think we are pretty much done here, right? Sounds good. <laughs> so guys, uh, good luck and see you next time. Yeah, good luck guys. Can't, can't wait to see what you come up with. See ya. Yeah, so whenever we press the button, it will switch between water or lava if you want your chicken for trading or...